Since releasing my four-week program to the public 30 days ago, we've gotten almost 5,000 downloads. That means 5,000 people over the last four weeks have decided that they wanted to make a drastic change in not just their body, but their lifestyle. And over the last month, I've answered countless questions. And I'm gonna tell you the two most common questions that I've gotten have been one, what supplements can I take to make this process go faster? The second question is, hey, I really want to do this. I downloaded the trial or I downloaded the program, but I just really lack the motivation to actually get up and go. So what I want to do is I want to take the time to discuss the answers to both of those questions. And I already recorded a video talking about this about 15 minutes ago, but I reviewed it and it was a little bit too harsh. So I'm going to tone it down a little bit. I'm going to give you guys my personal input. So to kind of segue into the answer to question one, what supplements can I take? Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. And I get it, right? Supplement companies and kind of the whole fitness industry has, has kind of indoctrinated people to think that working out and consuming supplements go hand in hand. And in order to succeed in fitness, you also need to be consuming certain supplements. I'm going to tell you that that is probably one of the biggest lies in the fitness industry. You do not need supplements. I'm going to say that again. You do not need supplements. Of course, companies out there are going to tell you everything that they need to say to get you hooked on their supplements because it's all about lifetime value of a customer. If I can get them coming back again and again and again, I'm making money from them again, again, and again. Okay? The bottom line is, when it comes to supplements, as long as your diet's on point and you're consuming the amount of food and nutrients that you need to be consuming to enable your body to do what it needs to do to adapt to your fitness regimen, then you don't really need the supplements. Now, to caveat that, okay, there are all of these supplements out there, they're gonna make it easier, sure. Absolutely, right? There's science behind all of them. And there's case studies and you know clinical studies that are gonna show you that people who consume this supplement saw these results. But for somebody, especially in a beginner phase of their fitness journey, don't walk into this world thinking that you need to pour a ton of money into supplements. You don't, okay? Now, in my nutrition guide, I kind of talk about supplements in a little bit more detail. If you're interested, let me know. I'll send you a link. What supplements you could take and what their benefits are, etc. Okay? Okay, the second question that I get is... I lack the motivation to get to the gym, okay? And here's what I'm gonna tell you. What you're seeing on Instagram, what you're seeing, you know, in the media, wherever it is, all these people promising you, hey, buy this program, buy this fitness equipment, buy this diet, what, whatever, they're there to make money from you in your ignorance. There is nothing in the world that can get you the motivation that you need to make a change in your life until you make that change and get up. No one can do it for you. I can give you all the inspiration. 
I can show you people who've done the same thing, have been in the same situation, have been in similar situations, or even worse off than you, who've got up and done it. I can tell you there are people out there with thousands of excuses and reasons why they can't do it. Their job, their life, their disabilities, this, that, the other. There are dudes out there who literally do wheelchair bodybuilding. Okay? There are dudes out there that I personally know who have overcome debilitating total and permanent disability from post-traumatic stress syndrome while deployed from deployment who overcame that because of their fitness journey and they had all the excuses in the world. So you telling me that you don't have the motivation tells me that you're not ready. You're not ready. Because this is not a short process. This is not something that's gonna happen overnight. This is not something that is going to just magically occur. Think about it, if you're overweight or if you're obese, how long did it take you to get as obese as you are? Years, five, 10 years? So what makes you think that you're gonna be able to flip the switch and take a magic pill or gain the motivation to just wake up tomorrow and be 150 pounds lighter, you're not. This is a long-term commitment. And with that said, there are gonna be days where you don't have the motivation. There are days I don't have the motivation. Some days I don't even wanna get out of fucking bed let alone go to the gym or go to work. You have obligations. And what it comes down to is discipline. Do you have the discipline, the ambition, the drive to do it when you don't want to? That's what's gonna make the difference. That is the key to success. Not just fitness and anything. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, if this shit was easy, everybody be walking around fucking Jack Tan and Juicy, right? So, I get it. In today's society, we've kind of moved to a place of instant gratification. There are marketers out there who've mastered the art of making you believe that if you give them this, they will magically make you rich skinny, in shape, fit, all the knowledge you need. But the bottom line is, there's no such thing. There isn't. So take that with you. If you're on the fence, you're not sure, you don't know, think about that. What things do you have in your life that were worth having that came easy. You probably can't even think of one. And if you did, you're fucking lucky because there are people out there who don't have shit. Not because they're not, not because they're unfortunate, but because they're not willing to put the work in. So, when you're ready to make a change, you'll know. And I'll tell you right now, I'll be there every step of the way. But never will I ever hold your hand. Just like nobody else in the world is going to hold your hand. So make a change.